Hi guys, this is Frenchie and today I want to share with you a tool that I just recently discovered and that I think not a lot of YouTube videos are mentioning about. This is what happened based on not so true events. 28th of November. Chloe felt the blank page syndrome and had to step out to find inspiration. But I'm there too, watching. Three years of spying have turned me into a colorist animal. I am the shadow. Another soul I saved today. More biscuits to come tomorrow. I think Patat is my assistant now. <laughs> if you want to see how she pulled it out, just stay for the tutorial. If you're interested in more tips in DaVinci Resolve and in the color page, uh, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at Frenchy underscore city. Okay, let's jump right in guys. So here we are guys in our timeline and I want to talk about this tool because nobody really talked about it on YouTube. And I find that it could be really useful for your look creation or uh, just giving you ideas in uh, your look creation um, methods. So let's just, um, before we are watching at this tool, uh, see our color management. So for this, you can just go to the project setting and uh, in color management, uh, you can uh, put yourself in a YRGB color manage uh, workflow. So it's going to be easier uh, for you to follow what I'm doing. Uh, right now, I'm having uh, S Gamut 3, S Log 3, uh, because my two footages are out of a Sony camera. Uh, but if it's from another camera, please uh, put the other uh, log and uh, gamut curve. Um, timeline color space, this is DaVinci Y gamut and uh, output color space, uh, Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. We stay on the standard. Um, so because I selected the DaVinci YRGB color manage, then uh, my clips are already color manage. If you see, it's not in log, it's already mapped to the gamma curve uh, I uh, asked it to uh, map to, okay? So um, to find the tool I was talking about, you are just going to uh, go to uh, gallery. And in gallery, of course, like uh, you have all your steels normally, but you can go to this button. And I'm sure maybe like you never uh, extended this one. And when you extend the gallery view, now I'm having some DaVinci Resolve looks. So these DaVinci Resolve looks are creative looks. That means that uh, it won't um, color manage for you. It will only be a look applied on your footage, right? So we just are gonna uh, watch what they have. So if you see like uh, there's multiple categories, so cool, desat, hipster, scene, skin and warm. And so if you see if I just like go over, you can see it apply on my um, on my footage. So um, let's see what they have. So sat desaturation, desaturation, why not? So you can have like really uh, heavy looks, uh, like cross faded or uh, something that uh, is actually a bit more subtle, uh, like the teal shadows. Um, scene, we have hot glow, hot glow, why not? You know, it's actually pretty pleasant. So I'm just gonna uh, choose hot glow and drop it in. So what is interesting with this is like, it is a look that was saved by a still image. So then like it's uh, pretty useful for us to just readjust because it's only uh, nodes and not a lot. So this is the look and um, 
let's see what it does. Uh, for example, the first node is blurring out uh, how highlights. So if you see, uh, if I put my highlight mode right, um, I'm having the beam of light over here that is taken. Um, if you see, like I can see like what uh, it affects with the A and B, and um, I can see that like uh, we have a lot of blur going on in the radius. Okay, so this is the effect of the first node. And the second node is actually the look uh, that is going on. So let's see what's happening in this node. And so in this node, like you have um, a change of lift and also of the color uh, in the lift. So uh, the lift is cooler. So if, for example, I reset the lift, we are uh, going back to something like this with less definition because we are not creating the split tone uh, that was created thanks to uh, the lift that is going on in the image um, you can see there's a lot of gain so um, and there's a lot of uh, gamma so because there's a lot of gain uh, because also this is a look that is uh, that was done uh, arbitrary let's just uh, extend then my uh, highlights are a bit clipped so what I'm gonna do is just taking my node and uh, going down in my gain so then I uh, come back to a safe place and I'm having something a bit more pleasing because we were like this before and we went to uh, something that is a bit more um, uh, controlled so um, I'm just uh, going down in uh, my gain and maybe I'm gonna go down in my gamma because I find it a bit too raised. So I'm just gonna go down. So I'm having a bit more contrast, uh, which I like. And uh, I think that's all. Let's see what's more. I think that's just all. Um, so this is actually the look that I just... Um, uh, taken from uh, the DaVinci Resolve look and super nice because it's a node base so I can just um, change everything. Uh, let's try another uh, look on uh, something else. So I have another shot and this one is uh, early morning and uh, outside. So let's see like uh, let's say I'm not inspired at all uh, in my look development I'm just gonna go to my uh, extended gallery and take 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 I'm just gonna I go to warm why not so after guys you can just uh, check every look you want and see what uh, works the best what is the best base for you and uh, just mix and match you know because now, what is nice is like you have quite a big por portfolio of looks, uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, have cross process magic hour. Magic hour is pretty nice. Let's see, maybe, maybe magic hour. And um, I'm just gonna uh, tone down a bit this uh, yellow, but I think it's a good base. So let's just put magic hour, and uh, I'm having my new tree done i'm just gonna check what's going on in my image so let's just make a bit more real estate so we we can see a bit more so this uh, i don't really know what it is but when i toggle on and off uh, i think there's uh, yeah, some blur going on uh, let's see what it impacts and uh, if i see the ab it impacts mostly um, the skin and uh, also like uh, the edges so the edges and the skin are a bit softer so which is pretty nice um, over here I'm having uh, the look uh, going on so I'm having uh, my lift uh, toned down my gamma uh, that is raised up and my gain is raised and we have a tad of yellow going on in the uh, gain that I'm just gonna pull back 
uh, to have something a tiny bit more natural than what we have. So uh, for the gain, I'm just going to uh, come back to something a bit more natural. So I'm just like pulling back this um, uh, yellow and we are in something like a tiny bit more natural, I would say. Um, after we have a very strong vignette, uh, this is very stylized, uh, which, you know, it's, it's okay, you know, but um, uh, I find that it's a bit too strong, so I'm just going to raise the gamma. I'm just going to raise the lift to have something a tiny bit more pleasant. And so this is what we have actually with the base of uh, Magic Hour uh, from Da Vinci Resolve, which is pretty cool actually. I find I find that it's uh, pretty uh, nice to have free looks, um, you know, under your your arm, and you can uh, just have it in case you are uninspired or you want uh, a base to create your own look on top of it. I, I really believe that uh, it can help some of you, you know, in your uh, look building. So I hope this video was instructive and made you learn that you have a tool with free looks inside DaVinci Resolve. Great, have fun, see you next time guys.